On Monday, May 4, 1970, some 500 protesters against the U.S. incursion into Cambodia gathered at Kent State University. Nearly 2,500 spectators were also present. The rally wasn't permitted, and orders to disperse were met by jeers from demonstrators, who also threw rocks. Because of this, National Guard General Robert Canterbury told the guardsmen to lock and load their guns. To begin with, they fired tear gas into the crowd in a bid to scatter demonstrators. However, this was largely ineffective due to the direction of the wind. The guardsmen began to retrace their steps back toward a hill, when suddenly 28 of them turned and opened fire. Why they did so remains debated to this day. Many aimed away from the protesters, but some shot directly at them. 67 shots were reportedly fired over a 13-second period from a distance of several hundred feet. Four people were killed as a result. Allison Krauss was in the Prentice parking lot when the National Guard opened fire. The honor student was killed by a shot through her left arm and chest that did major damage to her organs. She died from her wounds later that day. When the shooting began, Jeffrey Miller was standing in an access road to the Prentice parking lot. A bullet fired by a guardsman some 270 feet away entered his mouth and tore through his skull. The New Yorker died instantly. Sandra Schur, age 20, was walking with another student close to the protests. She was killed by a shot fired from a guardsman. The bullet struck her in the neck, causing major blood loss. She died around five minutes after being shot. William Schroeder was reportedly walking between classes when the shooting started. A shot tore through his left back, ribs, lung and shoulder. The 20-year-old psychology major died around an hour later during surgery in hospital. The weapon used by the National Guard at the time was the M1 Garand. The rifle is loaded with a cartridge containing eight bullets. It has a range of 1,500 feet and bullets generally travel at 2,800 feet per second. The rifles used on May 4th were also armed with bayonets that could be used for close quarters combat. That day, these weapons caused the deaths of four people and wounded nine. 